A company code is an independent accounting entity, the smallest organizational element for which a complete self-contained set of accounts can be drawn up. An example of a company code is a company within a corporate group. A company code has a unique four-character key which can be alphanumeric. General ledger accounting is kept at the company code level. It is used to create the legally required balance sheets and profit and loss statements for the company code. The company code must be specified for every financial transaction in SAP ERP. This is done either manually or by deriving the company code from other data elements. The IDES Enterprise serves as a sample group. IDES operates worldwide and has subsidiaries in North America, Europe and Asia. Each affiliate company code is a legal entity that is required by law to provide financial records according to country-specific regulations. The affiliates of IDES are set up as company codes in the SAP ERP system and are uniquely identified by four character codes. Each company code has a local currency. The local currency of IDES AG is euros. Amounts posted in foreign currencies are automatically converted to the local currency. Note, affiliated group, that is IDES International, and corresponding subgroups, that is IDES North America and so on, are not set as accounting entities. Consolidated financial statements of the group will be created by companies in a subsequent step. Companies are used as a basis for consolidation functions. A company can contain one or more company codes. The usage of companies is part of preparation for consolidation. Many companies not only have to create reports according to one specific accounting principle, but also need to meet different information requirements, such as country-specific requirements, corporate group standards, and so on. This means that financial statements have to be created. For example, according to local accounting standards like U.S. Generally Accepted Accounting Principles or GAAP or the German Commercial Code HGB and the International Financial Reporting Standards or IFRS. The accounts approach is widely used in this context. Different valuation approaches post to different accounts only in cases of differences between the principles for topics like valuation, depreciation, or accruals. When financial statements are created, the financial statement version is used to evaluate the relevant accounts. For example, financial statements according to U.S. GAAP only take into account those accounts that follow this accounting principle. As of SAP ERP, new general ledger accounting is available. It allows you within general ledger accounting to manage multiple general ledgers in parallel and in this way create different financial statements. Ledger approach. In new general ledger accounting, one ledger has the role of leading ledger. However, as previously in older releases, you can still manage accounts in parallel using additional accounts that is accounts approach despite new general ledger accounting. In this case, there is only exactly one ledger in new general ledger accounting, the leading ledger. In new general ledger accounting, profit centers can be part of financial accounting. It means that the profit center information is stored in the totals table of FI. As company codes, the profit centers function as a dimension for financial reporting. This means that financial statements can be created for profit centers as standard. In earlier releases, profit center accounting is part of controlling. The respective CO component is called Enterprise Controlling, Profit Center Accounting or ECPCA. It is still possible to use ECPCA as a controlling component in a new GL system. However, it is not recommended that both approaches to profit center accounting are used in parallel. A profit center can represent many things. An organizational unit within the company, such as a plant, a line of business, a geographical location, 
Remember that this is a profit area of responsibility and must not be confused with the cost center. As of SAP ERP, profit centers are not separate components but rather an integral part of general ledger accounting itself. Unlike the other dimensions in new general ledger accounting, profit centers are still considered as master data, despite being organizational units. The segment is a new organizational unit available with the new general ledger accounting. Segments can also be used as a dimension for reporting purposes, keyword, segment reporting in IFRS and US GAAP. The aim of segment reporting is to Provide an insight into different business activities of a diversified company. Provide information about the general environment. The purpose of segment reporting is to provide a better overview of a company's economic performance. Improve forecasting of the potential sales and financial reserves of a company. Better anticipate risks and opportunities of a company. According to international accounting principles, that is, IFRS 8, Companies are obliged to provide information in their reports on the financial results of business segments or operating segments. This is conducted using the management approach which requires that segment information from internal reporting is constructed in the same way that this information is used to make decisions on the allocation of resources to segments and to evaluate performance. According to US GAAP, SFAS131, a segment is a part of the company that incurs costs, generates revenue, and has its own financial data with regard to profit and resource consumption. An ERP system enables you to save a segment in the master data of a profit center. When the posting is made to the profit center, the posting is made to the segment automatically. Each general ledger is set up according to a chart of accounts. The chart of accounts contains the definitions of all general ledger accounts in an ordered form. The definitions consist mainly of the account number, account name and the type of general ledger account, that is, whether the account is a profit and loss type account or a balance sheet type account. You can define an unlimited number of charts of accounts in the SAP system. Many country-specific charts of accounts are included in the standard system. For each company code, you must specify one chart of accounts for the general ledger. This chart of accounts is assigned to the company code in configuration and is referred to as its operating chart of accounts. A chart of accounts can be used by multiple company codes. This means that the general ledger accounts of these company codes have an identical structure. Before you can use an account in a company code, you have to maintain the account definition at the chart of accounts level. You then create company code specific settings, which are only valid in the company code. An example of a company code specific setting is defining the account currency. Most of the accounts in company code 1000 use the euro currency, whereas company code 3000 uses US dollars for most of its accounts. When the account currency is the local currency of the company code, one can post to that account in any currency. The central view of the GL Master Records shows the chart of account data and the company code specific data. Account groups are used to organize and manage a large number of GL accounts. Whenever a new GL account is created, an account group must be specified for it. 
accounts with the same account group normally have similar business functions. You could, for example, have an account group for cash accounts, expense accounts, revenue accounts, other balance sheet accounts. The account groups are assigned number ranges. Via the number ranges, you can control which account numbers are permissible for cash accounts, expense accounts, and so on. Account groups also control the appearance of the company code segment of GL accounts. Account groups control the fields that are required for data entry, the fields that are optional for data entry, the fields that do not show up at all in the company code segment. Reconciliation accounts connect subsidiary ledgers with the general ledger in real time. This means that a posting to a subsidiary ledger posts to the corresponding reconciliation account in the general ledger at the same time. The subsidiary ledgers which are connected to the general ledger via reconciliation accounts are accounts payable, accounts receivable, asset accounting. A transaction figure describes the total of all postings on an account in debit or credit. One transaction figure for debit and one transaction figure for credit are always kept for each account in the SAP system. The financial statements for the company code are calculated using these transaction figures. If a general ledger account has line item display marked in its master record, one can drill down from the balance of the account to the line items and then to the documents. If using profit centers, segments, or business areas, transaction figures are also kept per profit center, segment, or business area. If you create a financial statement for the business area, the transaction figures for that specific business area are used to supply information for the financial statements. A general ledger is kept in order to provide the information needed to create a balance sheet and a profit and loss statement. These reports have to meet country-specific requirements. IDES, the name of our sample group, would need to create financial statements based on the German Commercial Code, HGB, for company code 1000, Germany, and based on U.S. Generally Accepted Accounting Principles, or GAAP, for company code 3000, USA. To meet the various reporting requirements, various financial statement versions can be created in the SAP system. In these financial statement versions, you define exactly which accounts are to appear in which line items of the financial statement. Many financial statement versions are included in the SAP system. The IDES company codes use the following charts of accounts. INT is used by company codes 1000. 2000, 2100, 2300, and 6000. CAUS is used by company codes 3000 and 4000. CAFR is used by company code 2200. CAJP is used by company code 5000. In the company code segment of the master record, each GL account must be assigned to an account from the country chart of the company code. This is done using the alternative account number field. Every account number from a country specific chart of accounts can only be used once. Not all company codes of the IDES group use the same operating chart of accounts. So a group chart of accounts, that is CONS, is used for consolidation purposes. The operating charts of accounts are assigned to this group chart in configuration. 